Hello! If you're watching this video, you're probably seeking a quick method to temporarily hide desktop icons on your Mac OS. This could be for screen sharing, meetings, or perhaps you just desire more privacy for your desktop screen. This brief video may offer some useful insights. Before we begin, let me show you what my Mac OS desktop looks like in the midst of several projects. Yes, that's exactly what it looks like. It's quite a mess, isn't it? I often capture screenshots and record screen videos for various projects, and I'm careful about deleting files to avoid losing anything important. Unfortunately, I haven't found the time to reorganize everything yet. As a result, my desktop screen is cluttered with numerous screenshot files. But then, there have been times when I needed to share my screen for video tutorials, showcases, or urgent business meetings. That's when I started looking for a solution to quickly and temporarily hide the clutter on my Mac OS desktop. Most of the solutions I found involved manually hiding files one by one, then revealing them in the same manner which was too complicated for my liking. I was seeking a simpler approach. Upon further investigation, I found out that in order to simplify the process to just a few clicks, as I initially expected, it would necessitate the integration of an additional application. This prompted me to conduct further research into a variety of different applications that could potentially enable this functionality. However, these applications tended to include multiple functionalities that were extraneous to my needs. My requirements were straightforward and simple. I simply needed a solution that would allow me to hide icons on my Mac desktop. I finally discovered a solution that fits my needs perfectly and thought it might be useful for others as well. That's why I've created this video to share it with you. That's an app called Hidden Me. It's available on the MacBook App Store. You can search for it, but I'll include a direct link in the description for easy access. Please note that the app isn't free. It costs approximately 2 USD or 49,000 Vietnamese dong as assessed from the MacBook Apple Store in Vietnam. However, I believe the price is reasonable. Another downside of the app is that you need to purchase it to explore its features. Well, that's where my video will help. Let's examine the app more closely to understand why I love it. After installing the app, a small rectangular icon with seven dots will appear on the menu bar at the top of your Mac screen. To clear your desktop, click on the icon and select Hide Desktop Icons from the pop-up menu. In just two clicks, you can hide your desktop icons. To reveal the hidden icons, repeat these steps and select Show Desktop Icons. All files will reappear as normal. You can adjust the app's preferences by clicking Settings when the Settings box appears. The Settings options are divided into four sections. Startup, Background, Behavior, and Shortcut. You can choose whether the app opens at Login, Hides Icons at Launch, uses Desktop Wallpaper, Solid Color, or Custom Wallpaper, and more. If you're interested, you can try it later by yourself. For me, the preset setting with Use Desktop Wallpaper and Use Solid Color as the background setting and Override Mission Control as the behavior setting is just right. I don't need to adjust anything. It's worth mentioning that even when your desktop icons are hidden, you can still access your files normally through Finder. That's everything about this application. It's very simple, straightforward, and convenient. As I mentioned at the beginning, this is just a super short video to share with you guys my pleasant Finder. Thank you for watching. If you find this video useful, give it a like. If you want to see more of my reviews on different applications and software that I use, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to watch more of my videos. See you next time.